Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dante Dark Souls. Well, Spore. Um, I know Spore is really overplayed, but, uh, hey, at least I'm not doing it by myself. Hello! Everybody say hi to Lupus. What the hell? Where did that come from? Beats me. I don't know why. It's not my main creations. <laughs> wow, that's on a planet called Fazbear's. That's awesome. Alright, anyways. New game! Yeah, as you can tell, we played this a shit ton. Alrighty. Cell stage. Let's go with Carnivore. Alright. Oh god. I don't know what that thing is. That thing's kind of scary. Hey girls, how about you two shut up? Stop fighting over there. Damn dogs. Random. Dales. We're going to Dales. <laughs> uh, ah. Remember how long the opening scene is, oh my god. Yeah, it's just too overly dramatic for something so simple. Right? Dog, lay down. Stop fighting the other dog. Lay down. That is some blue water. Who put Kool-Aid in the ocean? Dante. <laughs> Shut up, Dante. I'm not cut that far now. <laughs> Welcome to the tide pool, yada yada yada. Everybody knows this. Is it just me or does he kind of look like one of those ducky things, like the bigger guys? He does. Oh god, why am I so slow? He's too fat! I can't... I can't... Come on. He needs more than a lot. Uh, no. Flagella la la. Yeah. Oh, I'm big! It's like a much more complex version of a Gario. It really does, actually, in 3D. With a lot better graphics. You should try to bite me. And not for, like, little speakers. I wonder if that's what a Gario- Ow! He bit my eye! <laughs> Fucker! Come here, I'm gonna bite your asshole! Ew, Gross! Huh? Oh. Ah, oh, shit. What the f- I've never seen that happen before. He just bounced off his friend. Boing. Oh, evidently you were gelatinous. Well, oh, something like that. Makes sense, actually, being filled with cytoplasm. Being a single cell organism. Yep. No, 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 no. Fucking hell, run. Somehow we're still alive. <laughs> Om nom. Om nom nom. God, I'd really like to start making like meat in your mouth kind of jokes. Aww. But that's already been done. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey! Stop biting my eyeballs! Why am I not moving? That's better than biting your eyeballs. Well, I would say yes, but I don't think our character has those kind of balls. No testicles. Considering our character is always the one that lays the eggs. You could be your member today. Good, babe. Don't you eat my prey, fucker. Ready, go. Go away. Nobody loves you. Sounds good. Okay. Well, then again, our character is also always a smaller, smaller one too. That's true. Okay, so all we have is the flagella and spikes. 
He's think he's. I don't know. Should we do this legitimately? Like actually give a fuck or just completely dick around? No, I'm talking should we use cheats? You know what? This game's about dicking around anyways. God mode engage! <laughs> this defies the laws of physics. It's not the laws of physics, it's the laws of nature. <laughs> that you. I'm talking about when he starts going though, because he's gonna be moving with his front end, but he's gonna be going forward somehow. Yeah, we're we're definitely beefing up the fans being we pretty much got nearly eight well eight times already in game. <laughs> Wait, should we paint him? Yeah, good point. I didn't even think about that. And we have to name him. Oh god! Oh, his little eye! Oh! Yeah! And get the fire truck out the way! Oh lord. Um. What, should we just like randomize it? Or. Oh my gosh! It's Cthulhu Jr. How Cthulhu started out as a single celled organism like everything else. Except he got big and muscular. And then he turned into a boss. And then he turned into a motherfucking guy. Let me stab you! You know, fuck you. You're not the life of the party. There we go. I actually bit one. Oh, and I got bit. He can't even get in range of me. My spikes are too big. I think I may have made a mistake with the uh, mouth. I can't eat anything. <laughs> he got really scared. Like his eyes were bugging out of his head. Oh my! Oh mother! All right, you take the mouse over. Oh, I haven't played this in a while. Oh gosh. Yeah, you don't need to just click, just click and hold. Stab him in the foot. I want to stay away from poison, dude. Ooh, a jets. Oh yeah. And I stab him. We got poison from that too. A little bit. We. No, I mean we got. Oh yeah, poison. we got some. Yeah, we got some heart. Yeah. Yeah. Which actually, if shit. Well, no way. Oh my god, just put a shit ton of those all over you. Poison everywhere. I'm trying to think of the rightful term, because I think it's scientific. I think scientifically, um... Biotoxins? Is that what you're Yeah, thinking? something like that. God, nope, never mind, run away. Spikes ain't big enough for that. Nerf. Pop, pop the bubble, pop the bubble. Yeah, pop the bubble. Hey, it's another you! I was about to kill it too. Well, you can, that's the good thing. Oh, you can't kill your own kind? No, you cannot. You cannot cannibalize. Nope, which what is kind of kinda dumb. What kind of nature is this? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I mean, what animals in nature don't cannibalize? Right? Every single species in the world cannibalizes in some form and fashion. Except for us, for some reason. Because it was deemed, um, sinful. Unnatural. Uh, uh, immoral, that's the word I'm looking for. There you go. Who's your god? What is that thing? Oh, uh, that's a ducky! No, no, don't. No. I was trying to get. You stabbed him in the mouth! I was trying to get. I'm trying to get that. Oh, that's proboscis. Yes, it is. So then we can make our, um, dude a, um. Omnivore! Yes. Oh my god, I just thought of the greatest defense ever in the cell creator. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be great! Yeah, um, yeah, biotoxin would be great because of poison. Um, you can't call it venom because venom is injected, poison is ingested or absorbed through the skin. Our people remember, nature has to cr create and destroy multiple times before they actually create something that is worth anything in life. Look, the jets are coming out of the back, but they're in the front. What the fuck is wrong with our gut? There we go.
Oh gosh. Devour everything. Yeah. Get, get him. Because then we can get the electricity out. Working out. Oh my god. Devour everything. Oh wait, we can't eat the little bits, can we? The little bits. Those little bits. We have to like suck the meat out of people. Ooh, yummy. <laughs> yeah, it sounds delicious. Ah! No. Little protozoan uh, milkshakes. It, that's gonna be hard too, considering the fact that it's off to the side. Yeah, that wasn't the best idea. Yeah. It was more of a defense mechanism rather than an offense. But we need uh, offense as well as uh, defense. Yeah, because. Yeah, oh no. Yeah, we kinda fucked up. We really fucked up. Our creature can't eat. Yeah, um, that's, a, that's nature's way of telling you guys that an organism is somewhat flawed. Oh, somewhat. I don't think it's the word here. Okay, very flawed. Come here, buddy. I can at least scab the shit out of you. Oh, wait, no, I can suck it. Yeah, but you have to... <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Shut up! Okay. You have to get into that right position, too. Yeah, you always need to get into the right position to suck. Always. Whether you be the six or the nine. Or maybe both, who knows? He might be flexible. Ah. Yeah, I think we need to fix this. Yes. Here, let the one who speaks science do it. Yeah, probably do it. Don't look away. Oh god, that buzzing. Oh, this one makes a really cool pattern though. It does. It's pretty. But now he's complete. Oh, he was. Uh, for a moment there, he's blackout. Yeah. There you go. Stab him in the face. Yeah. Like, butt stab you. I don't think he can shock us either because we're also electric. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. Woo! <laughs> Murdered. <laughs> I don't know if I'm um, trying to see if we can't like get. Um, Oh my god, just electrocute fucking everything. Yeah. Although, um, but we, when this came out, we didn't know, but when, um, electric eels produce the electricity, they are actually hurting themselves. They actually flinch when they do it. Which is kind of weird. It's kind right. of like a kamikaze sort of thing. Exactly. Um, so, a, um, an electric eel, which isn't really an eel at all, but an electric eel, what happen if um, they deliver a very powerful shock? What the potentially, fuck? Uh, potentially enough to kill a human or to kill caimans or a horse, that could potentially kill them themselves. That's what a lot of people don't realize. Like, a lot of people, like, they're the ultimate predator in the water in, Amazon, in the Amazonian River. That's a false, because they could potentially just wipe their entire existence off if they're not careful. So, electricity is actually a double-edged sword with any kind of organism that can produce large amounts of electric electrical shocks. Which is like why Cole McGrath died. Cole McGrath. Oh, that's the guy from Infamous. Oh. Um. Man, I really wish they would bring Cole back because I'm, as far as a good story goes, I don't believe he's dead. But then again, you have no idea what I'm talking about, so... Nope. Damn, I just double butt-stabbed him. I am the crazy butt-stabber. <laughs> oh, shit, what is this? Uh-oh, uh-oh. We got a brain! Which, actually, you would need a brain for if you had eyes, people. True that. <laughs> That's a good point. You would need a brain to be producing an electrical shock. Because all things that could produce electricity has a brain. All things that can sense electricity has a brain. So what are we? We are... Oh. Carnivorous. Oh, well. We knew that was gonna happen. Pretty much. Cthulhu Jr. died. And then Hermaeus Mora was a ball, was born. Oh, God. I, I, these eyes just freak me out. Okay, then. Let's cease the eyes, then. Alright. Oh, God. Yeah, keep them there. Keep them there. Do-do-do. Dicking around. Having fun. 
Alright. Should okay, should we do what we did last time and keep the mouths that if we were to get rid of we'll never see the light of day with us again? Nah, let's just let's just keep them a carnivore. Okay, so let's that mouth and that mouth. Yeah. Uh, those Actually, kind of you know, like... it kind of keep keep those for now because it makes them look really sluggish. Yeah. It looks. Oh lord. Oh god. He has an eye on his butt. Derp. Hang on. No. A little bit more. A little bit more. Yes. One pupil, two eyes. Sonic. No, wait, that's one eye, two pupils. My bad. You haven't seen that, have you? No. Yeah, so there's like, I don't, you, a lot of you internet guys probably know this, but Sonic the Hedgehog's kind of been like a running joke for a while now that he actually has only one eye but two pupils due to the way the style is drawn. Don't get me wrong, I really love Sonic the Hedgehog, but... It's pretty much true, if you ever actually, like, look at him. There we go, we can make him a spider. Your favorite, Dante. You know, like, just fuck spiders. Fuck everything about spiders. Oh, come on, they're cute. Ugh. Alright, anyways, anyways, let's, let's give him a little stabber. Ha! He was happy about that. He agrees! Alright. Here we go. Alright. That's adorable. So... Good god, that's terrifying from the front, though. <laughs> Who would want to fuck with him? Hang on, we gotta... There we go, yes. Just like spiders, how... Just like spiders, when they look toward the center, they are actually... They're all cross-eyed, they're all like, what? Oh god, it all blinked at once. Because now it actually has a, bra a brain to coordinate its actual movements. Ugh. Right. Anyways, um, so write in the comments or like or subscribe, whatever. Just tell us if you want us to continue this series. Uh, we're definitely going to be recording more, probably. And, uh, well, we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.